Now, many local businesses have become the target of protesters, whether it was premeditated or just an act of opportunity. There are those within the group that are lashing out with vandalism, and one prominent local defense attorney found his office in the crosshairs of that frustration, born in Minneapolis, that has now spread nationwide. And I think people should react to what happened in Minneapolis. You know, I was sickened, I was angered when I saw that, and I get it. And I thought, we have to protest. Because if we don't protest, this will be just another killing of a black man that swept under the rug. Daniel Rodriguez was home Saturday night when he got the call that someone had spray painted his offices on Truxton Avenue with anti-police rhetoric. I was surprised, like, what? the heck, you know, it was like, what does the destruction and vandalism of property have to do with trying to get our message across? And that is that this kind of conduct has to come to a stop. A bit of irony, perhaps, that among the various buildings tagged this weekend, Rodriguez and Associates was among the victims. 40 years I've been doing this, I've represented people who have filed lawsuits, claims against the police. But I, I, I also understand that not all police, in fact, most police do the right thing, okay? In fact, I represent a lot of police officers and their families also, so I, I get it. But when I saw that, I thought, obviously whoever did it didn't have a clue of what was going on and what goes on in this community. Didn't even think before they jumped in. But just as quickly as it went up, it came down. The city's anti-graffiti removal team was out, cleaning up the markings early Sunday morning. Without us even calling them, the city graffiti abatement crew right. were out here like that. And they did a great job, courteous and professional. And this comes at a time when the foundation of a movement can be washed away in the chaos. And Rodriguez also commended Police Chief Greg Terry with showing his department the video of the George Floyd arrest, calling it a proactive move in how not to respond.